Hey everybody, got today's Devo for you. Today's reading was out of Hebrews chapter 9, 10, and 11. Just those three chapters for you. Uh, really good stuff in there. I love Hebrews chapter 11, uh, but we're actually going to start today in Hebrews chapter 10, uh, starting in verse 36. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, perseverance, and sometimes that word's just honestly, when I think of perseverance, I think this is going to suck. Um, but, but really, we're going to talk about godly perseverance. And so let's look at verse 36, starting here. We're going to finish out chapter 10, and we're going to move over to Hebrews chapter 6. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. For in just a little while, he who is coming will come and will not delay. That's big. And he also says, But my righteous one will live by faith. And I take no pleasure in the one who shrinks back. But we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed, but to those who have faith and are saved. Hallelujah. Now let's move on over to Hebrews chapter 11, uh, uh, verse 6. And it talks about what that faith is. It says, And without faith it's impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Now that word faith there, I'm just gonna I'm gonna pull up a, a word study here for you. That word faith, especially in the New Testament, uh, the word, the, the the Greek word is pestis, um, or pistis. And uh, it means the conviction of truth about anything. The belief in the New Testament is a conviction uh or belief respecting man's relationship to God and divine things, generally with the included idea of trust and holy fervor born on faith and joining with it. In relation to God, it's the conviction that God exists and is the creator of all things and the ruler of all things, the provider and bestower of eternal salvation through Christ. And as far as Christ is, it's a strong conviction or belief that Jesus is the Messiah through whom we obtain eternal life in the kingdom of God. And so that's that word faith. And, and without that, without a conviction of, of God's work and a belief in God's work and an acknowledgement of the relationship that you have to it, it's impossible to please God. Now, in uh, Hebrews chapter 10, before he got onto this whole faith thing, he says that, uh, in Hebrews chapter 10, that we are not the type of people that shrink back. He says that we need to persevere, not shrink back. And all of this was, was directly after he talked about the perseverance or the zeal of the new faith. He says, remember when you first believed how you stood up for God and now, well, you just kind of don't do it anymore. And that's what he's talking about, that type of perseverance. And so it's really important that we maintain a zeal for God, that we're always willing to stand and not be ashamed of the gospel. Um, and so that's one big thing about uh, persevering in our faith is never being ashamed of the gospel. And then uh, the other thing is that we can't please God unless we have faith in his work and in our relationship to that work. See, the faith that pleases God is not just faith that God exists and, and stuff like that, but the faith that pleases God is, is faith that, that not only does God exist, but he's the creator and sustainer of all things, that he is the savior and redeemer of all people, and that he gives good gifts to everyone who seeks him, that whoever can call on the name of Jesus Christ, that God will be rich upon you. If you want to please God, just lay hold of or allow yourself to be uh, laid a hold of by God's promises and that you just place your absolute full faith in who Christ is in your relationship to him. Look guys, a little bit of faith isn't enough. You have to place your whole self, a, a complete full conviction in what Christ has done for you and you got to have a relationship that 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 is buoyed by faith in Jesus Christ, a relationship that is founded on uh, the principles that God is the creator and sustainer of all things and the redeemer of all people. And when you do that and you seek his face for who he really is, God is rich upon you. And that is amazing. God is rich upon you because he's pleased with you when you seek his face. God, I just worship you and praise you for your love, for your grace for your mercy, God, for the great and precious promises that you lavish on us. God, I pray that you would just continue to enlighten us, Lord, to who you are and to the faith that that, that pleases you, God, that you're not pleased with, with, with works or with, 
with offerings of blood or burns, but God, that you are pleased when we seek your face, Lord God, and when we, when we have a firm conviction of who you really are and of what your work really has accomplished. In Jesus' name, amen. Now go and be who Christ has made you to be.